What is going on, everybody? I hope everyone is doing well. All right, today we are going to be doing another test fitting. <laughs> All right, so it looks like I got a lot of questions uh, from the freelancer video, like what can fit in the freelancer. Uh, asking me about what my thoughts were about the freelancer max and what can fit in there so today guess what we're gonna do we're gonna be test fitting some vehicles see what can fit inside the a hey. people are littering as i was saying we are gonna be test fitting to see what goes or what can fit inside of the freelancer max there she is right there in all of its glory and its wide booty look at that <laughs> seriously this thing is super wide <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to get squished by that thing. <laughs> I want to get squished by the booty. Yeah, so as usual, you can see how much wider this thing is compared to the, the Freelancer. Cargo area is still the same width, same uh, cargo displacement, if you want to call it, as a Freelancer. Uh, habitat area, same thing as a Freelancer. So basically, it's the main cargo hold there in the back that is much wider than the Freelancer. But just behind the, the turret there, to the front, that's all Freelancer. And then what the difference is, is from their back, uh, you can see that there's an extra more, or two extra engines. So let's go ahead, take off. And head down to the garage. There you go, that actually looks really good. Okay. What the heck was that? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. So what I'm just doing here is that I'm just gonna find myself a spot where the ramp is actually touching the ground. There's been a couple of times where I've tried to do this and uh, load up the vehicles. And because the ramp is not touching the ground, it doesn't want to work. So that is now touching the ground. Let's get out and uh, let's try putting in some vehicles. All right, we're going to stick the tumbler in here. I know it's not called the tumbler. It's a tumbril, but uh, I call it the tumbler. This one here is a uh, specific, it's the anti-air or the Tumblr AA. Uh, so this is a, a pretty decent vehicle that you can use for war ground if you want to go and shoot down some planes or anything. So you can see the missiles up on top. Definitely this thing is, oh, why am I falling through? Okay, interesting. Definitely this thing will fit in there, no problem. But what I would like to know is, will this fit with an Urus? So. Let's check the front. Okay. We'll jump out. Can we get in here? Yeah, okay, that's good. Okay, so vehicle one is in here. Um, so knowing that the tumbler can fit in there, the tumbler or the tumbril AA will fit in there, uh, guarantee that the Grey Cat ROC DS, the reason why this one's a DS is because you can see that there is a seat there for a second person who's gonna operate the, um, the drilling head. And then you have the driver there as well. That will definitely fit, but we will show you guys that it will. This is, I don't know what's going on with the game, but the game physics are kind of acting really weird. I 
I don't know what is going on today with this game physics. Okay. Not sure I'm gonna get that out. Might have to jump into the tumbler and get it out. But uh, no, we can. It can fit in here. And oh wow, check that out. We still have access to the to the turret there. Okay, no, this works really well. Very nice. Then, uh, which means that you also still have room here to put a couple of ho hover bikes in here. And do I dare try? Let's try to get the mole. <laughs> Alright, let's try this one, see how this one turns out. Okay, cool. So this turns like um, like a skid steer or a tank. It's friggin' noisy as heck though. Perhaps maybe I can do this. <laughs> okay, I think I fit that one in there. That's some really cool. What just happened? I'm lost. <laughs> okay. Yeah, today is uh, is definitely a day for the game physics. All right, so we got three vehicles in here. <laughs> Which we can also put, like, maybe a bike. So this is actually stuffing it pretty well today. Not going to be able to pass it to the front. Definitely we gave up the, the turret. Unless if, again, you're... Um, like I mentioned in, another video, in the other video of the Freelancer. If you're running teams, what you can do is you can put one of your teammates. Uh, tell them to go up into the turret and they can stay there. Uh, they're just not going to be able to get out. <laughs> Alright, and as usual, we can run to the front of the ship. Can I get in? There we go. All right, so definitely this is uh, this actually works really well, as you can see, for the most part, anyways. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to pull out these three vehicles, and we are going to reset it so that we can try some other vehicles. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is going on here? <laughs> what did I just do? What did I just do? I just went into the turret and it knocked over the mole or the mule. Oh, jeez. How am I gonna get in here now? Oh, okay. Bye. Did it, did, no way. No. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, <laughs> with the whole game physics all messing up and glitching, it, it worked it to my favor. <laughs> okay, 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 this thing's gonna blow up. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's get it out of here. Oh, wow, the doors were still open. Ah. Alright, the next one is maybe we'll keep the tumbler in there. I want to see if I can shove the Eurus in there. Just trying to position the camera around here. Okay, maybe that's not gonna work. Definitely uh, sure that I shoved the tumbler even further up. Don't want to do that. All right, so we'll open up the door. Okay, so we got room in here to walk over there. Yeah, I definitely got that shoved up. Okay, so let's move this guy back. Which means that we can... Yeah, okay, we can access the door. 
Uh, that's a little toit. And don't think the turret. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Can I, can I access? Does it give me the option? No. <laughs> Not like uh, like the other one. Okay, so it didn't give me the option. All right. So, oh, it started raining. It's okay. We got the good shots from outside done. Um, yeah. Okay. So that works. So the urus and the tumbler can fit in there. Nice. Okay, time to reset everything again. Uh, there are a couple of vehicles that I want to try out. Um, the tank is not going to fit, not at all. But the Spartan and the other... So this is the Spartan. Then can't remember what the name of this one is, but this is another anti-aircraft vehicle. This one has a whole bunch of missiles, as you can see on top. We'll try the smaller one. If the smaller one fits, then maybe we'll try the big one. But if the small one doesn't fit, the big one definitely will not fit fit. This is going to be tricky. All right, here we go. Oh, nope. Dang it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what? Oh. In, 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 in. Does it not fit? Okay, so we got room on the left side. Okay, we got a little bit of room on the right side. Okay, hold on. Let's check. Okay, that's literally good. That can go a little bit more. So theoretically, it should fit width-wise. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna try going in backwards. No, you guys up there, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Stop thinking it! <laughs> I know, it's really hard to not think it. <laughs> okay. How are we? A little bit this side, driver's side. There we go. Okay, I don't think this is gonna work. Uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Now we have a better idea of what can fit in here and what can't fit in the Freelancer Max. If this is the kind of stuff that you like, why don't you go ahead, why don't you think about subscribing? Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you are notified every time we release a video. Also, if you enjoyed the video, why don't you go ahead, give us a thumbs up. It helps us out with the algorithm. Until the next time, who knows? Maybe we'll see you out in the verse.